Kia ora. What about polyamides? They are like the polyesters, but if you look at the linkage, it's not C double bond O, O, it's now got an amine, it's got an N in there. And so this is what we call the peptide link. And we make this peptide link by joining an acyl chloride with an amine or a carboxylic acid with an amine. So an acyl chloride is better because they're more reactive. If you're using an acid, you need to push it. So concentrated sulfuric acid is used as a catalyst and a dehydrating agent to suck off that water. It's a condensation reaction as we're condensing two together with a removal of a simple molecule. And eventually we make this long chain with these monomers joining together. Now we can have depending on our monomers, two different ways of forming, forming a, a polyamide. So by using a diamine with a diacid or diacyl chloride, or by using an amino acid, a molecule that has an amine group as well as a carboxylic acid. So here is a diamine with a diacyl chloride, and we're removing a simple molecule like HCl, and we get this sort of um, polymer being formed. And you can see there are my peptide links, and you can hopefully clearly see there's my diamine, which is, matches that, and there's my diacyl chloride, which matches that up there. Notice my, that my CLs have gone, and my N only has one H because one of them has been removed in the formation of the polymer. Notice that if I have an alternating pattern, then I have the diamine with the diacyl chloride or diacid. So you can see N, C, O, C, O, N, N, C, O, C, O, N. If I have just simply one monomer, the, an amino acid, then I'll get a same repeating pattern. So you can see here I've got C, O, N, C, O, N, C, O, and that'll be N again. So here you can see my monomer matching up there, NRCO, NRCO. And my um, peptide links are all arranged the same way. So I only have one type of uh, mon, or at least my monomer has both the N, the amine group, as well as the carboxylic acid group. So let's uh, look at this polymer and see which one of these monomers do not match the polymer. In other words, which one won't be able to be used to make the polymer? So the best way is, again, you look for those peptide links and break it between the carbonyl and the N, and then you go, right, starting with my carbonyl, I've got one, two, three carbons. On my third carbon, I've got a methyl and an N. So here, starting on the carbonyl, one, two, three. On my third carbon, I've got a methyl and an N. And my First carbon with the carbonyl is an acyl chloride, which I can use. So this monomer I can use to make that polymer. For B, starting at my carbon, one, two, three. On the third carbon, I've got a CH and an O. So that I can't work. I don't have an amine over there. They put the nitrogen on the carbonyl, which won't work, because an amide, which what this group is, will not react to form a polymer. So B cannot be used to form uh, this polymer. But let's check about C. Look at starting at the carbonyl, one, two, three. On the third carbon, I've got a methyl and an N. So I've got a carboxylic acid on this side. I can use this one as well to make that polymer. So B is the right answer, as in you can't use this monomer B to make the polymer. All the best. Kia ora.